I've already opened these because I started to film the video and something is going on with my camera card so I had to empty it off and change computers and oh, never mind. Um, so I've opened these up and what I was saying is that I ordered some stuff with Nay quite a while ago um, and we ordered these directly from America because at the time they weren't readily available at Spotlight here in Australia, which they are now. So I got these two value kits, which I thought were really cool and I loved both designers. So I picked these up and I'm really sorry if I sound funny. I'm coming down with a nasty head cold at the moment and oh, my head feels like it's spinning. So. I'm a little bit off with the fairies. So I'll show you this one first. I'm sure most of you have probably seen these, so I'm just going to do a quick flick through. So this is the Notes and Things kit, which is from Crate Paper. And then all these kits have, I'll zoom in a little bit, oops, that's zooming out, um, gold foil. So every single card has gold foil, which I love. And there's a mixture of your vertical and horizontal cards and they match the papers of the notes and things range. What I love about this kit, I think, is the fake stitching. And normally I wouldn't like something that looks fake, but it's quite cool in this um, in this kit. Especially some of the 3x4s. I haven't actually seen this kit in person because I know I got a little bit impatient with some of them and I got like little parts of the kits off a buy and sell website. So I have actually got some of them but only a few of the cards. See this is like the fake stitching and I thought that was really cool. So it's quite like collaged. That's one of my favourites as well. That's like one of my favourite papers in the, in the collection as well. It's a pretty cool month card. And then you've got that one. So that's the 4 by 6s And I'm not quite sure how many there were. But the whole kit itself is um, 130 pieces. So these are the 3 by 4s once again, every single card has some kind of gold foil design. I'm really loving that one. And this one. There's just so many cards I love. It's one of those kits that you could almost have two of and it would be okay. I'm kind of hoping that now Spotlight have brought out all the new kits that they might reduce these. Because, yeah, I'll totally pick up another one of these. Um, I really love the yellow and the pink. It's just a really nice colour combination, really nice designs. You'll forever be my always. I love that one. Be happy. Pretty. And I love this one. Sometimes that thing you're looking for comes when you're not looking at all. I am totally in love with that card and I actually want to put it on a layout, not a project life. Well, I can use it for both because there's two. Right. And with these value kits, you also get die cuts. So there's lots of different pieces. 1,000 goodnight kisses. I want to use that on um, a picture of my son asleep or going to bed, which I've had quite a few of, like, lately. It's also been a terrible sleeper lately. Probably why I'm coming down with something. I'm probably, like, lacking sleep. This one says favourite. Um, it just irritates me. I'm so anal, for want of a better word, about the word favourite, um, because it's quite a, a common word in scrapbooking things but in Australia we spell it with a U <laughs> um, so it's F-A-V-O-U-R-I-T uh, I-T-E sorry um, and I think it's just the Nazi teacher type personality coming out in me that I don't want to use it if it's not 
spelt correctly for me. These all have gold foil on them as well. And I mean, I'm just laying them all out because I want you to, whoopsie, I want you to see how many you get. Because I'm not joking when I say that this kit is like packed full. I, don't, I might even have to zoom out. Um, I mean, and there's a mixture of like big bits and little bits. Let's see. I'm not sure. I've seen like two of some things. I think you might actually get two of everything. So I'm going to have to zoom out a bit. <laughs> my favourite. <laughs> I will use it. I will just get over it. You're one of those suck it up moments. I mean, it is spelled correctly. It's just not spelled correctly in the country I live in. Which, honestly, I don't really understand. Like, why do they not just have, like, one English way of spelling it? And there's all these squares. See? Oh my goodness. I have to zoom out again. And then you can see my messy desk. So that is like, there's just stacks of stuff. So this is the notes and things kit. And yeah, as I was saying, I really think if I see it pop up on sale, I may actually get another one just because I love it that much. So that was that, and then I got, also got the Lucky Charm kit, which is a Dear Lizzy kit. So once again, I might zoom in. Um, all gold foil. Love this one. A laugh is a smile that bursts. I think a lot of these cards I would consider using on layouts. Um, obviously not the journaling ones, I think they're good for project life. But, um, like ones like this, they're just so super cute and the grid style layouts are coming back in. I think Project Life cards work really well on a grid style layout. Love this one. Super cute. Grow old along with me, the best is yet to be. Love you more. Then the three by four cards. You make my heart sing. Note for you today. Our never ending story. A love. I love you. A bushel and a peck. I've never actually heard of that saying. I don't know if it's just me. I've seen little sneak peeks of the new core kit by Dear Lizzie, um, Fine and Dandy from her new range and I definitely really want to get it. I've always been a Dear Lizzie fan since the very start. So there are the cards and once again you get a rather large amount of, I, I'm not going to like lay these out perfectly because I don't want to like spend hours showing you every little piece, but I love the horse. It says, wild thing, I think I love you. Super cute. Come fly away with me. There is just so much stuff in these. I haven't seen all of these designs because I only got a few. You make me happy when the skies are grey would be good for today because what I've seen too it's um, not very nice weather here it's not sunny we've just hit autumn and oh my goodness I had the electric blanket on last night um, remember you are loved so there's lots of little pieces and there's cards and just a really cool mixture of goodies. <laughs> so 
Sorry, I'm so snuffly at the moment. I reckon my son's picked up something from daycare and so kindly brought it home. So, I also got, well, Nay got me these um, thickers from Maggie Holmes' open book collection again. Um, these are called Story and they are the um, chunky gold glitter phrase thickers, which I managed to get a packet of, but I definitely wanted to. Um, because they're so awesome and yes the other day when I was in the spotlight with my um, best friend who's just moved in with me um, he was getting some stuff and we had um, like a ten dollar voucher to use so he got me these sequins so I've got like a matte gold and a neon pack um, I've been sorting out my sequins and I just noticed I didn't really have I didn't like my gold once I prefer this more matte colored gold and um, I didn't have any neons, so now I do. Um, we also, Nay and I had to make up a bigger order and we had to fill in some more things. And I found these stamps and I think I saw someone um, on an America, like a video from a lady in America who had these. And they are so cool. They're like Prima Cling stamps, but they're um, like paint splatters and coffee stains so we will have these in the scrapery shop because we had to order a few so there will be some left over and I think they only work out to be $8.95 a packet which I think is a complete bargain so um I'll link below to the scrapery shop and I think Nay's going to put them up very soon so keep an eye out because um yeah we'll be selling these in the shop um I also got this Dazzle edition from Project Life. Now I think, I hate it how they don't say on here the designer because I think this is actually Jen Hadfield but I can't remember for sure. But I'm pretty sure it is and it looks like her, um, it looks like her collection. So some of these have gold foil on them and some of them are just plain. So I mean... I, it's not my favourite kit but I think they're really good basics. I know that Nay loves Jen Hadfield um, but I, I like ones like this I think are really good to have a good basic um, cards and they tend to match along with most things so I'm just really quickly flicking through this because I mean it's a rather older kit so I'm sure you've probably seen it. So you get two of these. There's lots of blues and pinks and blacks. I think the idea of her collections was that they would go, she's like renovating a cottage or something and they were supposed to tie in well with like home decor as well. So they're like sort of like haberdashery type, I don't know how to explain it. I did see her speaking about her collections and she just bought out a new one which I think is called um, Cottage Living and she has a lot of things that would be versatile for like home decor projects because that's what um, she is known for. I wish I had time to do the home decor projects to be honest and I mean we live in a rental and our house is a rather new house and so um I love that one um I don't, I'm too scared to hang things on the wall <laughs> even though we have a really nice landlord who probably wouldn't care um I love these thick gold foil ones there's the beautiful chevron the amper stand I just don't use ones that go this way very often, so they're harder to use, so they'd more likely end up on a scrapbook layout. The wood grain is rather cute. I like a nice wood grain, not a fake wood grain. And I have noticed that the actual realistic textures are coming back in, like we're seeing a lot more like a photograph type. Things. 
I've noticed them in the Studio Calico kits, which I think sometimes what we see in the Studio Calico kits ends up sort of being a trend because they're such a big company. They can kind of start things and they take off. Um, yeah, so that one comes with a hundred cards. Right. I also got, I told you this was a rather large haul, um, a few things from the Simple Stories stuff. Um, I am a word sticker person, I love them, but Snap have these like um, photo stickers, they're like a clear, and so you can stick them right on top of the photos, and they've just got really cute things. So I don't really want to open them all, but I'm going to give you a close up. So this one is from Snap Life Documented, it has 102 pieces, and there's two sheets of the white stickers and two sheets of black. So um, I'm hoping you can see those on the back. Um, and they're all different, so you don't get like a repeats. Um, I also got this one from the I Am collection, which um, has been all the rave. Like a lot of people are really liking this new collection from Simple Stories. And I can honestly see why, because they're not just your typical sayings either. They're not like, you know, love and favourite and things like that. There's lots of really cute things. And this has three 4 by 6 sheets with one black, one white and one gold foil. So on the front you can see the gold foil and you've got things like beautiful, fearless, um, courageous, I'm the captain captain of my soul, um, you know, loving life, strong, there's lots of really cool words and yeah, I just really think these are super cute. Um, I also got the one from the Enchanted collection which is the girly collection and normally I wouldn't buy things from a girly collection. But I do have a niece and so I thought I could probably use the more girly ones for pictures of her, like I'm a princess, or maybe even me because sometimes I do act like a princess. Um, so you get one sheet of silver foil, a white and a black, and they're sort of all like... Um, got like a fairy enchanted theme but there's cute sayings like live like there's no midnight and I thought they would be cute um, I also got the ones from the Say Cheese True collection um, once again you get a gold a black and a white um, I thought these were cute but I think this is a Disney themed collection like me and the mouse and mouse and co but I mean there were lots of other ones that I thought were cute so it wasn't all Disney themed and then I got the I am sentiment stickers you get six four by six sheets and I might actually get these ones out because these are not photo stickers. So you're getting it's like a sheet of the I am so you can probably use this with this like I am blessed, I am adored, I am happy, I'm enough, I am strong and there's more and then you're getting word stickers which are my favourite like the captain of my soul and the master of my fate I am capable of big things like the sort of like all with an I am theme so you get like a cream and a white and then there's some label stickers so I am a big fan of this name is sort of like what when I said to her that I got these ones but I don't know, I really like word stickers. So that was the I am, oopsie, I am collection. And then I also got the Snap Life documented word strip stickers. 
This has eight sheets and there's 344 stickers in all. So lots of different things. You've got white and that's kind of like a creamy colored, more white, more cream. So there's like four white and four cream and they're all different. Next I got the um, Be Bright themed cards from um, Project Life Becky Higgins. Um, if you want me to open these and show you I will but I think I'm just going to show you the back. So you get 30 themed cards and they've just got things like Be Bright, Be Happy, Be You, You Make Me Smile Every Day, Love This, Have a Great Day. Now I think some of them are, have got, got gold foil, some have got like the gold glitter treatment and some have got like cutouts. So yeah, the gold foil, the gold glitter sorry is like a gold glitter but then it's got like a glossy um, over the top so they're rather cute. I also got the golden collection, um, these are all gold foil and there's 40 designs. I also got these, which are from the Becky Higgins Project Life Journal um, collection. I did order the, um, I think we ordered the the six by eight journal to go with it, but they were out of stock. So I am going to order one of those to do this, and I think I might, I don't know, I might like make it like a mini album, sort of a journal thing, like, like kind of like a diary really. I suppose. So I'll give you a little flick through. Uh, so obviously I don't have it in a book because I don't have the book yet. But you've got pages. So like this book belongs to. Let's start from the beginning. And then from what I've seen, there's lots of like pages that you just journal on. And you can all, like being a six by eight album. You can obviously add the 6x8 um, like inserts and do a little bit of um, scrapbooking, project lifing in the thing as well. But I think this would be really cool just to document, I don't know, like your feelings, your memories, whatever. Especially like, I mean, I always think of it in terms of if my mum had something like this, um, how much I would love looking through it and reading it. Because, I mean, I have a son and I know boys may not, although they probably do still um, feel the same about wanting to know um, more about their parents and things. Like this is like goals this week, next week, this month. I think that's really cool, it's like paint strokes. Um, so I mean, like I only have a boy and at this stage, but I just think later on, you know, we don't live forever and just be a nice thing to have. I think most scrapbookers tend to feel like that though, like it's the whole preserving memories type of thing. How cute is that? And I'm, I'm not a girly girl, but I feel like I'm turning into one. And this kit has purple. And I mean, you don't find many things that are purple these days. Purple's like a taboo colour or something. Just doesn't seem to be sought after. I, I just think... You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a project that you could sit down and complete in a weekend, but it could just be an ongoing journal type thing that you add to whenever you feel like it. Um, maybe 
You could even stick photos and do a little bit of scrapbooking, but I think I want to make it predominantly writing based and just sort of fill in the blanks type thing. Of course I'll add some things, but I'm going to keep it mainly flat because I'm thinking if you added too much to these pages that the book would become really overloaded. So maybe this would be an ideal time to get out things like stamps and things that you can do that are flat. Um, there are tabs on the side too, so I mean I'm not sure what you'd break this up into, like because there are... I think it says four dividers, so one, two, yeah, it says four. So, I mean, I don't know whether you'd, how you, like, I mean, it's up to you how you divide it up. It could be seasons. Obviously, there's not four months, so you could do years. Or even, like, four topics, maybe. So I mean, this is like a watercolory themed kit. Lots of pink, grey, green and purple. I mean, just sitting here looking at these prompts, there is so much that I could write about. I mean, I think some of the stories from my childhood I probably wouldn't want my son to know. Um, I wasn't a very well behaved child. But there's so many things that at the same time I think would be cool to document. Live what you love. That's another thing, like just even thinking like I would love to have known my age, well although at my age my mum had two, she might have, yeah I think she had two kids. And she was married. I mean, I have one kid and I've got a partner, but it's scary to think that. But, I mean, she had different priorities then. She was at a different time in her life. Like, how cool would it be to have read a journal? I mean, my mum is far from the memory-keeping personality, but I hope she doesn't watch this. <laughs> I think... I'm sort of the only one in my family that does memory keep. This is cool. Goals. This year, five years, ten years. That I could fill out easily because I know the things that I want to achieve. Some things I probably don't know, but as a brew view. I really think I want to get one of these to gift to my friend. Because she could do with some cheering up and I think it would be a really cool I mean we're both in our 20s and I think it's just a good time of your life to document things like this so obviously you can see when you've got this all together and it will be in the book you've got the four tabs down the side and I mean I'll just give you a little close-up this is the packaging so this is the journal that you can get to match this range and obviously it just gives you a look and it says you can get the book and the dividers which I've just shown you, the cards and the pocket pages to make a little book. And I think Becky does a few different ones. There's like one you can get to journal about your childhood as well. So these are the themed cards and I'm going to open these. They're called journals by the way. Um, because, uh, and I mean, when I get the album, I might show you it put together. So these, obviously, you would need the, the, the inserts to put these in the book. My thoughts, yeah, these are double-sided. Oh, I love that. I'm a big fan of green. I love that green, too. Never forget these are the days that I'll remember. That one's beautiful. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to mix these in to use in my project life. I think I'm going to save these, particularly for 
the project of doing this little book. So I just love this and you get two of each of these which is always handy when you love both sides of something to have two. I must admit, it is actually a nice purple, and I'm not a purple person, so that's nice to have. I think when I colour sorted my Project Life cards, there was only like one purple one. Seize the day. That reminds me of a high school teacher I had. We watched that movie, um, Dead Poets Society. Oh, seize the day. I don't know if any of you have watched that that are watching my channel, but we did a big, like, um project on that in grade 10 and he wrote us all a letter when we graduated from high school and his theme was seize the day he was a pretty cool high school teacher though noted it's funny how you never forget some of the teachers you have in high school I mean I had lots of memorable ones for good reasons Memories. This is my life, and that's a nice purple. Just a note, I love that one. Live what you love. So that's the cards that match, and I'm just going to pop those in here for a rainy day. And I also got this um, phrase stamp from the Dear Lizzie Serendipity Collection. And on the back you can see the different things that you can stamp. I really love the font of Let's Go and Love. I really like that. Um, I love phrase stamps. And I just got um, my new one from the Amy Tam Rise and Shine collection. So two new ones. Um, right, the last thing I got was some 6x6 paper pads. Um, I really love these because I don't particularly use large papers for backgrounds. I tend to layer. So if I wanna, if I love a collection, I tend to get the paper pad because I can just use them to layer. Um, so first of all, I got the Pebbles Happy Day um, collection. I thought this had some nice, bold, bright papers. I mean, some of them I don't really like, but um, I thought they'd be good for some pictures of my son. I mean, this one I'm not a fan of with the coffee cups. I don't know, I probably wouldn't particularly use that. I don't like the colours. Um, I really like these, especially the wood grain. I think the wood grain in this collection is what drew, like, drew my eye, really. Um, I like this paper with all the different... Um, smiley faces. I think that's really cute. And the bikes is pretty cute. I love blue and green together. So my mum used to always say blue and green must not be seen. <laughs> but I'm a big fan of that colour combination. I mean, there's lots of, I think there's, I love that wood grain. I actually really want some of that in 12 by 12, so I'm going to find a shop that stocks this collection. I hate this paper. It's disgusting. Who makes paper with pizza slices and they're not even nice? Yuck. Um, the hellos are cute. And there's a few basic patterns. That one's about friends. That's cute. I don't really like that one. There's those ugly coffee cups again. And then I think these ones are repeats. So that's Pebbles Happy Day. Oh, Favourite! I just had to get this. So um, I think I actually even want the 12 by 12 pattern paper pad of this collection because I love it so much. Which I knew would happen. Um, so this is just stunning. 
absolutely love. I love this one, the Conversation Hearts, the X and O's. Mint green hearts are beautiful. I mean, I don't think there's a pattern in here that I don't love. And I mean, it's hard to often say you love a paper. Well, it is for me anyway. And I mean, I love so many of these. Love. Sorry about that. My camera decided to cut out. So, um, because I've been recording such large videos today. So... I was up to showing you, see, I don't know where I was up to, I think, yep, this one. So these are the other papers, so very cute, and I absolutely love this one, it's like paint chips, and it's got all the different pinks, and different love words, how super cute is that, and you get two sheets of that. The beautiful floral pattern so love that range and this is the last one and it is from D Lizzie serendipity 30 mm, sorry 36 sheets now this is really odd but I'll show you um so I love this collection but there's something wrong with this paper pad and I don't know if it's just mine or whether it was a thing with the collection so these are gorgeous, aren't they? I love the marbling in this range and I love that paper. Gorgeous. Um, this was in the January scrubbery kits, this range. So I do have some more of it. I love the pineapples. Um, so I might even add this to the kit so I can get a little bit more from the kit. Right, so I think it's like, yeah, so if you notice the strip, like the the branding strip up the top, it's not far from here. Oh God, just ice creams. Then here, it's still, the branding strip's at the bottom with the perforated strip. So really, when you cut off the circle, it's not actually six by six. And it's just like half the paper pads like that. I mean, I don't particularly mind because I tend to use them as layers anyway but I wonder if they know because it's like they've accidentally put half the paper pad the wrong way and like in the machine or whatever they use um yeah which I thought was really bizarre that's super cute so yeah please leave a comment if you have this paper pad and have the same issue or maybe I just have a dud so that was my rather large haul I think that's everything there was actually actually there is one more thing I did get these um, we are memory keepers pinwheel attachments which make these lovely pinwheels um, but I've got the pinwheel punch ball which I think they will probably send to me next month um, to make these gorgeous pinwheels which I really want to make for like, I don't know, parties or something. I'm sure I'll have plenty in the future with my son and other things going on in life. Baby showers and whatnot. So that's my haul and check out the links below for the scrappery because we'll be listing these stamps and also I will link... Um, I think I said I'll link Naya's channel below as well. So thank you so much for watching and I promise I'm going to stop with the whole videos and get you some process videos up very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.